Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Durga. And my name is Paul Steve. Um, first, before we get started, if you guys enjoy this content, uh, we put a lot of love into it. Please check out the video on both of our channels listed in the screen and in the description below. And show some love. Leave a comment, leave a like, uh, drop a sub if you're really feeling frisky. As well-known hunters on the server, we get asked a ton of questions about base hunting, so we compiled the top five questions you all have asked, and we're going to do our best to help answer them. All right, what do you say, Paul? Should we get this thing fired up? Let's get it. What do you think are the best clients available on the market for hunters? Well, first off, the meta of what client is best is ever-changing depending on recent patches, known exploits. However, I personally love Future Client, available at futureclient.net, in combination with RusherHack, available at rusherhack.org. Uh, these are both paid clients available for one-time payments of 20 USD each. Awesome. Another great client that I like, especially if you're balling on a budget, is Lambda Client, which is actually free and available on GitHub. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the links for all three of these clients we talked about in the description below. If you would like a more in-depth look into all of these clients, go ahead and check out Keylab's channel for an in-depth client review. So, what are the best modules for hunting? Uh, I think we really need to break this down into two categories of modules, which are movement and render hack modules. The best render hacks available for hunting are going to be your ESP, your search, and new chunks module. As far as movement modules go, entity speed with a horse or a boat is a great way to move around on the ground. If you're lucky enough to find an elytra early, you can also use Big Money's recently released elytra flight module, and you can also use Rusher Hack's Boost Fly for easy no rocket elytra travel. It's important to keep in mind that the optimal configs for up-to-date travel methods change constantly as patches are implemented. Luckily, Rusher Hack's Boost Fly has worked for months and the configs are public. I'm a new player who just spawned in and I want to get started on hunting, but where do I even begin? Well, first thing you want to do is turn on anti-hunger to prevent hunger consumption before you start traveling. Then go about 3 to 4k blocks away from spawn in the overworld and begin looking for another portal. Portal traps are often built within 2k overworld of spawn to trap new players, so beware of taking portals within this range or you might get trapped. After you do find a safe nether portal, locate the nether highway which should be at Y level 120 in all cardinal and diagonal directions. Then you're going to head about 10 to 15,000 blocks in the nether, find another nether portal, and exit into the overworld to start your first base. The objective here at your first base is going to be to gather food, armor, tools, and materials such as wood for boats or saddles for horses to help get you started. And if you can, also try and keep your eye out for sugarcane and gunpowder to help make some fireworks. A question I get a lot, and I'm sure you do as well, Dirk, is how far should I go to start hunting? Ah, uh, that's a great question, and I would say the best answer is to avoid 250,000 blocks of spawn to prevent hunting the areas that were shown in the public NOCOM heat map image. However, once you're over that, there is no bad place to hunt. You can find bases and stashes anywhere from a thousand blocks to a million blocks off of a highway. My motto is if the chunks have been loaded by a player, then follow it to the end. Whether a trail is super thin or super wide, they are all worth following. Another hunting strategy is to search through every mineshaft and dungeon chest in the greater spawn region. This is a good way to find small stashes and conserve resources, as there are many of these hidden caches between 5k to 50k. So what do you do when you finally find your first stash or base? There is loot you would like to take. There are two options you have for moving it. If you already have a stash set up with an alt account or a friend to load your pearl, you can move the items via pearl teleporting and responding at a bed set at the location you are taking the items from to move the items across a large distance quickly. If you don't know how to pearl TP on 2B2T, you can check out my tutorial in the description. Now, if you do not have an alternate account for pearl loading, you'll want to do this. Go back in the nether, travel away from the stash a couple thousand blocks, make a new portal, and place down chests on the other side in the overworld. This is where you'll move the loot to. And then once you're done, make sure you break the portal on the nether side to ensure that it's well hidden. 
Hey, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. We really enjoyed making it, and we'd like to continue helping out aspiring hunters, so we're planning on making a series for these types of videos. Let us know if you have any base hunting related questions in the comments, and we might cover them in a future video.